In this video, I'm going to show you a simple defense that you can use that will give trips tight in absolute fits. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Mata player. Happy New Year's, guys. Today, we're talking about the nickel triple formation out of the Chicago Ball, or the Chicago as well as the Baltimore defensive playbook. Now, uh, we're going to be talking about the cover six coverage, my favorite defense in this game. Uh, you can protect your user with this defense. You can really do a good job. And I actually really like this defense um, specifically out of the nickel triple formation. And I'm going to show you why in this video. Now, again, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you want to learn the entire nickel triple defense, you can join the Patreon membership. Um, that's just 10 bucks a month. You get access to all of my Madden 22 eBooks. I have 13 offensive and defensive ebooks available, as well as exclusive tips and pro player breakdowns. So if you want to check that out, there's a link down in the description that you can click and you can go check out that membership. All right, guys, nickel triple cover six. Uh, now, what we're going to do here is something interesting to point out here. Uh, if you are running this defense in particular, most of the time, if you're in kind of a standard zone coverage out of any other formation, your corner on the right side is going to stay over there. But what's really cool about the triple is it has like a built-in alignment feature into it where you're almost always going to get the best alignment regardless of formation. And this is just my hypothesis on this. The nickel triple is kind of meant to mirror what the nickel bear uh, could be like. And it might in some cases flat out be the nickel bear. We have a nice little three by uh, tight, tight front here. If we roll this safety down, then it basically is a 46 defense, if you will. So um, that's just something to kind of pay attention to and just, you know, something that I just kind of noticed and I thought I'd point it out. Now, uh, if you take a look here at the actual zones, let me see if I can get this fixed. You're going to see that uh, the middle linebacker here is on a vert hook. This guy, Jackson, is on a three red hook, who is your best player or your number one corner, more than likely. And then you have uh, quarter flat. You have deep outside quarter, inside quarter. This guy's in a deep half, but again, I like to roll him down into the box as if it was a bare front. You could just flat out show blitz, and he would end up here, uh, and you could be blitzing him in certain situations. And then your linebacker is on a, uh, a cloud flat. Okay, so very good zone coverages that we have here. Now, cover six, if you don't know, is a matching defense. Now, forgive me if I butcher the explanation of this. I'm still learning a little bit about this. But from what I understand, essentially what cover six means is we're going to get what's called a quarter, quarter, half defense. What that essentially means is we have a quarter on the left, inside quarter on the left, and then we have a half covering the right side of the field. The reason this is important is because it really does help you understand kind of what you're going to get as far as the coverage goes. Now, when you're in a trips uh, or a trips uh, check out of cover six, you're getting what's known as the special check, which essentially what that boils down to is Mills is going to be man locked on the number one receiver wherever he goes. This guy, Jones, is going to be responsible if the number two receiver goes on a vertical route. So let's say that they run Mike Evans on a smoke and Jones and uh, Scotty Mill on a corner. Jones is responsible for taking him to the corner. Now, this is really important. Jackson is probably your most important player on this defense and someone that you should not mess with. Do not change his zone. It is really, really important. Okay. Some people like to use him. Some people like to change his zone. Man him up. Please listen to me when I say don't change his zone. Don't do it, okay? He is the best player on this defense, and we're going to show you why in just a second. But he's on a three-receiver hook. So essentially what he's going to do is he's going to wall number three, and then he's going to work to the middle of the field and take any crossers, slants, posts, stuff like that. Um, and then what we get from McCordy is he is basically working in relationship with number three. So if number three, which is number one on the, on the screen there, uh, I think that's Darden, if he goes vertical, then McCordy will take him. If he goes underneath, then he's going to pass him to some of these underneath defenders. Why I like this defense so much is because it adapts to the situation. It adapts to the formation. Okay, On the backside here, we have, again, the half. Now, the half zone... Um, it's, it's kind of, I'm not exactly sure 100% how I can explain how it plays. It's, it's similar to a cover two, but it's a little bit better than a cover two deep half. It'll match onto some of the deeper vertical routes. For example, if the tight end goes on a streak, he's going to match him. He's not just going to float to the outside. Um, so I think that's very valuable. Okay. And then you have this cloud flat. Now, normally this is a soft squat. 
Um, so the play art might just be glitched, but he's just going to handle everything to the flat. If the running back runs, runs a wheel, let me see if I can prove this or not. If the running back runs a wheel, I'm pretty sure that this guy will match him. Let's just check it real quick. Nope, he does not match him. Okay, so he's basically just on a flat defender. And what's cool about the uh, nickel triple is he's a linebacker, right? So I can put him in different hot routes. So I can put him into a hard flat. I can put him into a middle third. I can put him into a mid read. I can put him in a hook curl. There's a lot of things that I can do uh, with this player, okay? So if they're throwing to the flat a lot, don't be afraid to put him in a hard flat. If they're throwing to the tight end a lot, don't be afraid to man him up on the on the tight end. I, mean, I wouldn't do that for this specific defense. but uh, And then your user responsibility really is right here, the vert hook. The reason I like to use the vert hook is because I'm going to open into this area. Obviously, that's the most important area for me to defend. And essentially, if the number two goes vertical, which in this case is going to be Gronkowski or the number one on that side in the slot, uh, if the slot goes on a vertical route, I'm going to open and I'm going to carry him to the deep half, and then I'm going to pass him off and work to something else. So let me give you a great example or illustration of how this is going to work. So let's say they run this. It's one of the best trip tight end concepts in the game. What you're going to notice on this play is I'm going to open up to where the tight end is. I'm going to carry and then I'm going to pass him off, and then now I'm going to go over here. And as you look at this replay, it's not terrible defense. We have a defender in the vicinity of everyone on the field. Let me back it up here and show you. So, again, I open to the two. I carry him, pass him off. You see how three red hook? Watch what he does. This is why this is such a good zone. He's going to wall, 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 and then he's going to pass him off once he's delivered him to that quarter and then now he can feel free to work right back over here and that could be a, a very baity uh interception if you will it's very very good zone okay very very good zone so then another popular route concept that a lot of people like to use out of trips tight end this year is they love this um this tight end post route uh, and, and I'm really, really excited to share this with you. So what you're going to notice on this defense is this, in my opinion, is the best defense in the game for this concept. What you're going to get from the way this coverage is going to play, we're going to wall and open to three. We have to basically carry the slant. That's our user responsibility in this play. But again, we're still going to open up here, take away that snap throw, come back here and look at that corner. Just match that and take that all the way across the field. That is the secret little tip that I love to do to people. I've played a lot of really good trips tight end players this year, and they love this route so much. They'll force feed this route. Uh, and I do too. I run a lot of trips, and I, I, I think it's one of the better routes in the game. But look at this right here. He's going to open and carry him to me. Then I have taken. That's, that's now, at this point, my user and this Cloud Flats user. That's what we're trying to guard. And then you're going to see right here, he's going to literally go right to the post and basically match him perfectly across the field. And I actually feel like this guy right here will do a decent job for you. Um, you he is he does have this zone over here. So this zone, and again, he's not gonna he's not gonna be able to stop a bomb, but he is over there. Now you could do some adjustments. You could put him in a mid read or a mid third if you want to. Um, I wouldn't. I would just run it like this. I think this is the best coverage in the game for for trips tight end. So now let me uh, kind of move through a couple other plays here. Uh, the, the other play I wanted to just kind of quickly touch on here uh, is this is a very, very popular concept. It's a basically a spacing concept. Very, very, very good play. I love this play personally. Watch how this defense is going to defend this. So again, we're going to carry. And then now you see there that tight end's open. Now, that's where the match will break it down a little bit because of the hitch and the, and the, and the flat. So a couple things you can do. To, to kind of help your uh, help yourself out a little bit, man yourself up on the three. Man yourself up onto three. And the reason why is because it's gonna help that three wreck not get lost in the in the weeds here. He's gonna always know his job is to go to that tight end. And then as you see, the defense really does play uh, very, very well. So that's a real simple way uh, that you could shut down the tight end post. Uh, from a, from uh, let me give you one more concept here. Let's talk about a tight end corner. So let's go to curl flat. So if the tight end goes to the corner again, remember you're opening to that side anyway, right? If you see a tight end go to the corner, you're probably not going to get a crosser. So you can carry that and take that all the way. You notice the three wreck still went and guarded him, um, which I think is awesome for the way that this defense plays. If you man up here, I'm telling you what you're getting from this three wreck 
is probably one of the better ways to defend a tight end in the game. Because you'll see right here, he's literally just going to run right at him. And then you see that you got a corner going that way. Now, that's a bang, bang play. You got you, you roll that safety down. You're really in a good spot with this defense. Now, what's also really cool about this is if we were to show blitz, we can get this kind of look. And why I like this look is this is a very intimidating look. But remember, remember, McCourty's only in relationship with number three. So if number three goes to the corner, what you're going to notice here, number three is going to go to the corner. And then you see, look look at the match. Look at the match cover it. Gets there, drives on the route, and takes the ball away. So by far one of my favorite coverages against trips tight end. I've ran against the best trips tight end players in the world and had a lot of success with this defense. Uh, they're just not really ready for when the tight end just gets bagged on that post. I'm telling you right now. So if you want to check out and learn more about this defense and learn more ways to run this defense, more pressure schemes out of it, more coverages, there's a link to my Patreon in the description. You can sign up for the Patreon for just 10 bucks a month, and it really will help you become a better Madden player. You're going to get instant access to over 13 eBooks, exclusive tips, pro player breakdowns, and a lot more coming into that membership. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. If you want to check out the membership, it's down in the description.